Hey everybody, welcome to Downhill Backyard Gardening. Now, as you saw in the thumbnail, this is a video about succulents. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, man, succulents, really gardening? Do they go together? Well, they do because, well, they're a plant. <laughs> and I love planting anything. And succulents are a fun way to add an incredibly easy to manage plant to your garden. Not necessarily out there, but still, in your garden bringing in colors and something just a little bit different if y'all are interested at all about some succulents stick around here we go i have a reason for showing you these succulents are super super easy to take care of i know it doesn't look like it right now but just hold on <laughs> these used to look completely different and what happened was two winters ago when a freeze was coming I got all the container garden inside and completely forgot about my succulents. They were sit right over there, just completely forgot. Well, they can't really survive freezing temps, as you can see. So that's what happened right here. But even with these all dying, for the most part, <laughs> some did not. Check this out. I did not water these at all. I think maybe one time last year. And I mean that legitimately. Maybe one time. And look at the ones that are still alive. That just blows my mind. So why am I showing you that and all this death of the succulents when I'm doing a succulent video? Well, to be completely honest and transparent and to show you all everything. I said in my very first video on succulents, which I think was my third video ever, that it is almost impossible to kill a succulent like i think you have to honestly try to kill them or just have a complete brain lapse and leave them outside in freezing temps <laughs> but they're very easy to grow and like i said in the intro they definitely adds a different something to your garden so i'm going to totally take these out change out the soil and everything plant some new ones and start a new succulent garden. And you all are gonna come along for the ride. So right off the bat, what do you need for succulents? You need a cactus soil. Now this is the only time I use miracle Grow, ever. It's for this reason right here. And this is what you wanna get. It says, great for succulents. This is what we're gonna use right here. I don't normally use miracle Grow because I make my own soils for everything else, but cactus soil and stuff I'm not even going to attempt to do so I just get this it's easy and we just rock and roll with it like that right there and what's fun about succulents is there's so many different kinds of these types of plants you've got You got these little cactus looking things with these little, <laughs> they hurt. You got these little things. I mean, honestly, y'all, there are so many different types. And for me, it adds a different type of creativity to what I'm already doing by creating these little succulent gardens. It, it just, it's fun to me. I, I really enjoy it. And you know, when you're done, you can come back over with the layers of different colored rocks or whatever and change the aesthetics of your succulent garden for me i keep it real basic real simple um because you know that's me basic and simple <laughs> i also have aloe veras that i'm going to plant in something else different pots for those i'm not going to add those into the succulent garden even though i could if i want to i'm just not going to so what i like to do is get a centerpiece so i'm going to have that's why i bought three of these types all different colors. These will be the centerpieces for each of these. And then I'm, I didn't buy a whole lot. I just got a few because I like to keep them kind of simple and just let them kind of grow on their own. That's me. You know, everyone can create your own gardens however you like. And that's part of the fun of this. So I like to do something like that. Put four plants in that are all just a little bit different than each other, if possible. Something like that. 
And then in this one, because there's so much still in here alive, I'm just going to add a new element right in the middle right there. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, right now. right there <laughs> yeah. getting in too much of a hurry aren't I okay so for this one since we still have so many in here that are still alive I'm just going to I'm just gonna cut out the old ones or the dead ones I mean making sure not to kill the good ones We'll go ahead and put this one in. New soil. Just to give this just to give this whole pot a just an added boost of nutrients. Put that new soil in here. And just like that, we're done. It took me about 10 minutes to do this whole thing. Completely done. Last thing I need to do is just water these in one time. Really good just to get the soil nice and tight around those roots. And then it's like maybe once a month, honestly. I, I don't water these very often. And to be a thousand percent honest, when it's really, really hot here in the Houston area in July, August, September, I'll water twice a, uh, twice a month. And they do just fine. So if you're looking for a project to do with your kiddo, something fun, something very low maintenance. Think about a succulent garden. There is nothing at all wrong with getting a kiddo involved in gardening. In fact, I encourage everyone to get your kids involved in gardening. Whether it's flower gardening, vegetable gardening, succulent gardening, just gardening. Get them out from in front of those tablets and phones and all that. Get them outside, get dirt in their nails. That would be a kid. All right, everybody. If y'all enjoyed this video, as always, share it, like it, subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already. If I earned your subscription, please click that button, hit that bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. And until next time, everyone, take care. God bless. Get a kid involved. Get a kid involved. I'll talk to y'all again real soon. Peace.